Hello mm -hmm. everybody, uh, welcome back. Sorry for no videos in a long time, but you know, things have been kind of going by fast and I'm out of time. But hopefully that will be changing soon. Um, today I'm going to show you how you can make a disk image with a special background. You used to be able to do this in Tiger, but then since I upgraded to Leopard, you can't do this anymore. So I'm going to show you how you can do this. And you need something first, you're going to need to download Pacifist, or uh, you go to Terminal, and you type in set file and hit return and if you don't get anything like this then you don't have set file you'll need to get it I'm gonna show you how to get it though to get it what we're gonna do is download the pacifist I already downloaded it and you can get it from the link on the right and we're gonna mount the image All right, now that we have the image we'll open up the application and We'll wait on that. Alright, what we're going to need to do is we're going to go to our disk image. I've already created one in disk utility. It's pretty easy. Uh, here, let me open it up real fast. Uh, disk utility. For our disk utility, just say new image in the top bar. And I'll change down to 10 megabytes. So basically, make what you want. And then save as and fill in the name here for, for volume. And that's how you make one. But I've already made one, and here's our disk image. It doesn't have anything in yet, so what we'll do is we have our background image. It's flurry.png, and we'll copy it over. You know, I'll give you a glimpse at it. See, that's what it looks like. I, it's just my desktop. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the background image for my disk image. We're going to make that flurry.png. Do this, just hit Command J, or go to View, Show View Options. And we'll say picture. We'll say select. We'll go to our backgrounds disk image and choose flurry.png. And there we go. It's there. Now, if you have a, I'll make a folder. Folder. If you have a folder in here, then uh, it will not have the same background image. So you have to say command J, picture, select, and repeat this process for all of your. folders. Well, there we go. We have our background set and we'll close that. Switch on over to pacifist. Not yet. Okay. And we're going to do say open package. And you want to have your uh, Mac OS X install DVD. Leopard and Tiger. Uh, Leopard should work. I'm using Tiger because I don't have a Leopard one on hand. So I'm using my Tiger one. And we're going to go down and we'll say Xcode tools. Xcode tools dot in packages. It'll open it up and this might take a while. Okay, now that it has extracted, we want to go up here to search bar right there and type in set file, hit return, and it's going to search real fast. And here we are. Grab the bar, scroll down, and this is the one we want right here. Go to the top bar, say extract, and we're going to extract it to our desktop, and say choose. Now we want to say extract, type in our password, well now that we have that we can quit pacifist, close this window, uh, we don't need pacifist anymore. And we don't need the install DVD anymore, so we'll close the eject all those. And now we just have our disk image. Now I want to do to use passive to use set file. Uh, we could just type in. Uh, I'm not gonna show you how to install it. You can look on the right. I have a link to that, and uh, it's labeled how to install Unix. No, not how to install stuff. How to install command line utilities. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do slash desktop. Slash oh I messed up. Uh, we want to go to our home slash desktop slash set file and we'll hit return and there we go. So we'll go up and we'll type in dash a space capital V and then we'll drag on we'll go on over here and we have our image right here. We'll drag it over to the terminal window, drop it in. So it's slash volume slash backgrounds slash floor dot png. Hit return and voila. 
it's not there anymore. However, if you test out this disk image, the image will still be there. You can still see it. We're inside our folder, but the background's there. It just does not show up. So that's how you can easily do that to make it show images in Leopard. To do Tiger, there's other ways of doing it. I actually kind of like this way a bit. And a uh, set file can be used for other things, such as removing uh, stuff from the desktop, like your uh, backup DVD, backup, backup disc for Time Machine. Well, that's all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And check out the blog.